Well, everybody, I called it. We are having Crusader Kings 3 Chapter 3 DLC to include unlanded characters. That is absolutely going to be crazy and new Byzantine slash Empire changes. Don't know what they're going to entail. Uh, we're also going to have crazy plagues and a legacy system. That just blew. I knew they were going to add plagues someday and I knew they were going to make you pay for it. But the legacy system seems pretty interesting too. So how does this affect the Game of Thrones mod? I know that's what my channel's popular about. I know that's what you guys would want to know. So let's see what that would make. Well, first of all, the Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones mod is based off the novels of A Song of Ice and Fire, not the show. Uh, the show Game of Thrones is, uh, okay, completely different <laughs> after season four, I'd say. Maybe season three has a little bit, but still. Completely different than A Song of Ice and Fire book series. We have characters that we could not play as in the Game of Thrones mod until the DLC will come out. Hopefully the devs are super excited to work with that. Uh, hopefully they don't have any plans to do that and they don't have to change everything around and it's going to be another year before we do anything with that. But I have hope in the devs. So people like Jon Snow. Jon Snow is unlanded. Uh, I'm playing with a, uh, you're probably wondering like, what the heck, this is Clash of Kings. Well, there was a mod called More Bookmarks for Game of Thrones mod. But the mod creator, which I completely understand, is like, well, I just wanted to make it and then not do anything with it. But someone else called a Game of Thrones bookmarked uh, was able to make more bookmarks. And I think it's actually way more stable. He actually updates it. Fantastic. Check it out. It sort of just came out. So look up on Steam, a Game of Thrones bookmarked. And it's the most recent one that's updated most recently. Uh, so far, uh, big issues with me making videos for Game of Thrones has been crashes. So I haven't been able to experience any crazy crashes since I've downloaded it. So yeah, I can actually play Clash of Kings now. Until the mod author actually, uh, mod authors, the mod devs actually uh, make it. All right, where was I? Yes. So Jon Snow, you could be an unlanded Jon Snow, and they could add special events. For John, you could literally follow John from his first chap well, from his first chapter in Clash of Kings, to Dance of Dragons, if they wanted to, right? That would be insane. You could, you know, who's perfect for a situation like this? An adventurer who wanders. You're on Greyjoy, dude. This guy would be absolutely insane to play as. Just going from S. Hopefully, Essos will be released before then. Uh, the one year anniversary of this mod is coming up in a few months. So a good thing would be Essos, uh, which I completely understand why it's taking so long because look at this. This is what twice the size ish. Well, a size and a half of the Game of Thrones mod, maybe even more counties. You could play as Tyrion in Clash of Kings. You could play as Tyrion from a baby. You could do everything that is as interesting as you want it to be. You could play as... Where is he? Okay, he's landed, so Dark Star is landed, okay. You could play as Stannis during the, uh... During the timeline of... Well, not Stannis. Uh... You could play as Stannis during Robert's Rebellion, maybe. You could definitely... Ooh, you know what would be interesting? Bran. You could do a... Brand Stark focus. Things like that would be very interesting. Now, let's talk about the Empire DLC that they're going to change up. Oh, also, let's not forget uh, Daenerys. You know, Young Griff. When Essos gets released, we would have Young Griff scenarios. Daenerys, remember in ZK2, Daenerys would start unlanded here in the Dothraki Sea, and you have to make your way. You can take Marine. I think Daenerys would be a 100%. I mean, that would be the best way to introduce the uh, Daenerys story arc in Crusader Kings 3. 
have her be unlanded, have her start in Robert's Rebellion, go to Bravos. Unless there are no orange trees in, or lemon trees in Bravos, then she's actually in Dorne, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah, you could end up following Daenerys and the Beggar King all, you know, massive this is all the way to Vastothrak. All those leagues traveled. And then finally to Marine. And then boom. What if you wanted Daenerys to switch up? What if you wanted her to go to Yaitai? Valyria. That would be interesting. A, a new arc. Well, oh yeah, look what you can... Uh, can I like... Eh. Before you used to be able to go to Valyria. Anyway. Things like that would be very, very interesting. Now, let's talk about the Empire thing. So with the new DLC will be, we don't really have much info on it uh, as of right now. We know that there's going to be new mechanics, mainly for establishing your empire, how vassals can disrupt you. So how that could work would be maybe they can introduce the a interesting Dance with Dragons scenario or Dance with Dragons scenario. Um, where the Targaryens versus Targaryens fought each other, and it was a big, maybe with the legacy system, you have to have more legacy than the greens instead of the blacks. If the blacks have more, um, I believe it's called legacy, or uh, the, the right to rule mechanics that they're adding in, uh, maybe they will have, or legitimacy, that's what it was, uh, more legitimacy than you, then more vassals will flock to you. Maybe if you have low legitimacy, the mega war system will actually disrupt you more. You see what I'm getting at? So if the legitimacy system interacts with how the mega war system plans out and how which vassal ends up joining you, you could actually do a really interesting mechanic that way. You can have a former ally uh, in the reach but all of a sudden you broke a betrothal and now the reach and that ruin your legitimacy and now the reach hates you and the veil noticing how much legitimacy you don't have anymore is like you know what maybe i should join up with the uh with the rebel uncle who's about to start your war he has more legitimacy than you maybe unlanded characters could actually have a way to get legitimacy more than the current king and then he could start an adventure threat that has way more support. See, there's endless possibilities, really. I'm really excited. This is going to be awesome. I mean, the mod for CKT was, was amazing. But this is going to be even... I mean, the, the roleplay, the, the sub-mods you can make with this. Maybe people start making individual sub-mods. Maybe the mod authors don't focus on Guru Clegane much. But... And, uh, not Guru Klian, uh, his brother, uh, the Hound. Maybe they don't really focus on the Hound much. So you could play as the Hound. Oh, the Kingsguard. So the Kingsguard aren't, aren't, uh, they're not landed. They have a title, but it's not a, uh, title holder. So that would be interesting to do, uh, playing as a member of the Kingsguard. The also the legends mechanic would be pretty cool. Uh, spreading, uh, I think that would be more involved with uh, custom characters. Uh, you know how the Chronicle worked with Crusader Kings two about how you can like saints uh, uh, make somebody a saint, or you had a bloodline type situation. I believe bloodlines are coming back, and the spreading legacies is how they do it with the new disease dlc now that's going to be very very interesting let's so say you create a new custom character and you're like man i really like my old character he was very pious but all you get is a like he was a good swordsman that's all you get and you're like ah he deserved better he deserved way better than that he helped me conquer france or he helped me conquer uh let's say in the game of thrones someone he was the guy who took the iron throne the first, for the first time without any dragons to help, you know, type of scenario. Uh, and then you can create a legacy battle. I, I think, in my opinion, 
I wish you can create your own custom and like type in a whole background info. Like you can customize it yourself entirely. My thinking it might be RNG, but if you're able to uh, custom type everything, that would be very, very cool. So that's my two cents uh, about how it would affect the Game of Thrones mod. Um, I don't know if anybody else was thinking about that. Um, Lord of the Rings mod, guys. The Fellowship. You can play as the Fellowship in the Lord of the Rings mod. Think about that. You know how cool that's going to be? <laughs> anyway, just be hype. The hype train is coming. That's all I'm saying. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. There's more videos coming. Peace out.